Hey guys, Sean Nalawani here, BodyTransformationTruth.com, and in this video I wanted to address the issue of calories from vegetables and whether or not you should be tracking them as part of your overall diet. Most vegetables are very low in calorie density in comparison to other foods, and so a lot of people ask me whether or not it's even necessary to track them. So first off, just to get this out of the way, um, just like all other foods, vegetables do contain positive calories, and the idea that the calories in vegetables somehow don't count because your body supposedly expends more energy chewing and digesting them uh, than the actual calories they contain. This is a complete myth. Uh, you will hear some people saying that, but it's just not true. Uh, there is energy content in vegetables and that energy content does contribute to your overall daily calorie intake. So the question of whether or not you should actually track them, it basically just comes down to your individual situation and it depends on how precisely you're aiming to track your daily calories and macros as well as the total amount of vegetables that you're eating. So if you're someone who is very serious about their diet and you want to be really on point with it, so you're trying to maintain a reasonably tight calorie surplus or calorie deficit, and you're eating a decent amount of veggies every day, then yes, you should be tracking them because the calories do add up quite a bit over the course of the day and they can make a noticeable difference to your totals. For example, if you were doing uh, a focused cutting phase and trying to maintain a 500 calorie deficit, uh, but you were also eating vegetables three times a day with reasonable portion sizes, that could very easily add up to a couple hundred calories or more per day, which is very significant uh, if you're trying to lose fat. So if you were just eating a ton of vegetables without tracking anything at all, then that could very easily cut your deficit in half or more if you aren't careful. Uh, on the other hand, if you're not tracking exact macros and you're just trying to maintain a rough overall calorie surplus or deficit, and you're only eating a small to moderate amount of vegetables per day, maybe you're mixing in a few veggies into an omelet or just adding some lettuce into a wrap or having a small serving with your dinner, then the calorie content is gonna be so low that in the big picture, it's probably really not gonna matter. Another important factor to take into account here is the types of vegetables that you're eating. Some vegetables are actually uh, quite a bit more calorie dense than others, and this definitely plays a big role in how important it is to track them. For example, 100 grams of lettuce will give you only 15 calories, whereas something like kale is over three times higher and will give you about 50 calories. Uh, another example, uh, cucumbers are extremely low in calories. I think it's about 10 calories per 100 grams, whereas broccoli is closer to about 35. And again, that's only a 100 gram serving, which is not very big. Most people are generally going to eat more than that, and they're gonna do it multiple times per day. Uh, and because of that, the specific vegetable choices that you make can change things quite a bit. To give myself as an example on this topic, right now I'm actually doing a four to six week mini cut just to drop about eight pounds for summer. And I wanna get it done as quickly and efficiently as I possibly can. And I do eat vegetables a few times per day. So right now I'm weighing and tracking everything I eat and that includes all of my vegetables uh, because they do account for about 125 of my total daily calories. Uh, and so I wanna make sure that I have that under control. On the other hand, uh, when I'm just maintaining or when I'm trying to gain maybe a little bit of muscle and strength, then I don't personally track any vegetables at all because I'm not as concerned with trying to land on an exact calorie goal. And so instead I'll just estimate things a bit more loosely. So again, uh, there's no black and white answer here and it really just depends on how precise you're trying to be with things and what your goals are. However, just keep in mind that the calories from vegetables do count towards your total daily energy intake. So if you are trying to hit a specific calorie target and you are eating a decent amount of vegetables each day, then you do need to be taking them into account because the total calories will add up over the course of the day and it could make a measurable difference to your overall results. On the other hand, if you're not trying to be as precise with your diet and you're not eating a huge amount of veggies each day, then it likely won't be a big deal and it's probably just a waste of mental effort for you to bother tracking them.
So thanks for watching this video. I hope you found uh, the information useful here today. For more useful science-based nutrition tips along with training and supplementation advice to maximize your muscle building and your fat burning progress, make sure to head over to bodytransformationtruth.com and grab my complete body transformation blueprint system by clicking the icon at the top of the video or by using the link in the description box below. If you did enjoy the video, as always, please make sure to hit the like button, leave a comment, and subscribe to stay up to date on future videos. And make sure to check out my official blog over at seannell.com for all of my latest articles, tips, and other updates. Talk to you again soon.